All right, so we're back with another video for you guys, another reaction video. And today we're going to be reacting to Royalty's latest video on her channel. As you guys can see, she dropped this video a couple hours ago. Guess what I got? And you can see in the thumbnail, um, she got the uh, Durango Hellcat, man. The one that everybody kept claiming she wasn't going to get. She's too broke. She doesn't have the money. She's that. She's this. She's going bankrupt. She got her car repoed. Um, so in this video, she's addressing these haters, man. And you got this clown PJ. He went in as a community, uh, community section, basically just says the same old stuff, man. It's like the only two words in his vocabulary is racist and hater. And then he likes to say that he gets more views than I do. You only get views, you idiot. You only get views if you talk about royalty, what are you talking about? You get more views. You only get views when you talk about royalty. Is this guy stupid or something like that? Look at his last two videos. He dropped a video four hours ago, right? 244 views. He dropped another one seven hours ago. 158 views, right? And the one he dropped about royalty got 9,200. He keeps saying he gets more views than I do. You only get views, you stupid retard, until you talk about royalty. Aside from royalty, you get no views. Is this guy slow or something that's wrong with him? With all that time you got invested in talking about royalty, how about you actually work on AABW Enterprises, LLC? Look at this. It says status inactive. Sir, why is this showing inactive? You got all that time. You'd be sitting here making all these boring ass videos like the last two videos. With all that time spent on the last two videos, you could be working on fixing this company. I told you guys, man, this dude is a bum, man. He's a bum. He sits at home all day long making back-to-back -back bummy ass videos. And I don't know, I don't understand when he keeps saying he gets more views than I do. I'm like, what do you mean you get more views, man? If you if you don't talk about royalty, you get no views. Like, is this man slow or something like that? Like, I would think he can see his own analytics. He can go into YouTube studio and see which videos are doing well. Like 90% of his content is royalty. When he's not talking about royalty, he gets absolutely no views. He can talk about all the other celebrities, no views. Like people that, it, it always amazes me when he says that uh, he's got a real strong base of supporters. No, you got a bunch of people that also hate royalty. So they only watch your videos about you hating on royalty. They don't watch any other content. So they're not real supporters. You're just slow. All right. I can tell you're not doing that well. Business wise, you're not doing that well YouTube wise either. It's me, Royalty, of course, and I am back with another video, guys, next day. Um, I just want to say this first of all. Um, if y'all wasn't so invested and so uh, so obsessed with my life, you guys would not be so worried about the things that I do. Like, I'm a human being just like everybody else. Everybody goes through hard times, everybody goes through tough times, everybody goes through a hardship, everybody goes through a lot. I'm the type of person that people like to offer me a lot of help, but I don't like to take it because Whatever I'm going through is going to make me stronger, no matter what it is in the world. I'm the narrator of my life. I'm the director of my life. So however my life plays out, that's what it's going to be. So it's like, yeah, my car, it got repoed and I got it back. I mean, y'all know that I'm going through a custody battle, right? Exactly. And that's what I told you guys. Like, he, they always make it seem like, oh, like it got repoed. Okay. Yeah. And you can, uh, you can, you can talk to the bank and get the car back. You pay all your, like, she can pay back all the money that's past due or whatever. Like a lot of people fall behind for whatever reason. A lot of these YouTubers, social media influencers, they can't keep track of everything that's going on. She's a single black woman with five kids. I feel like that just like goes past a lot of people's ears and heads and especially this clown PJ because PJ doesn't take care of anything. He just sits on, on YouTube all day long making these goofy ass videos, right? His wife is the one doing all the work, right? She's putting the real food on the table. Um, what does he do? Like, I always want, I wonder, what exactly does PJ do? What does he do? The turkey like cabana bullshit? I was actually trying to look it up to see if he's got any kind of health permits or any kind of license. I couldn't find anything. Maybe the maybe it's not registered under turkey leg cabana. Um, I tried to look it up under AABW Enterprises. That's inactive. So I probably have to look a little bit more. Since he's uh, digging into royalty's past, digging into everything associated with royalty, her family, her mother, her brother, um, 
And let me just address this because you guys will hear all kinds of bullshit on his channel. The only thing this man talks about is racist and hater. Those are like the only two words in his vocabulary. But you, sir, are a woman beater. All right. You are a woman beater. Get that through your head, man. And this is, um, we're going to keep talking about this, man, because this isn't, see, this isn't like something I just decided to call him with. You know, like when he sits on there and says hate and racist, those are words coming out of his own ass, right? But this is coming from court documents. It's coming from police reports. This man, you guys, if you guys haven't read this already, make sure you guys read it. This is about Shayla Suzanne, right? Especially like the last three sentences of this, the first paragraph. This is crazy. If you read where it says um, the defendant dragged Shayla Suzanne, right? The third, the third row from the bottom, right? The first paragraph, right? Not contrary to the form of statues, not that one, but the first paragraph, right? The one that has all these lines, right? If you go to the third line from the bottom, where it says the defendant dragged Shayla Suzanne Scooter around the apartment by her ankles during the assault and also slammed her head against various walls inside the apartment with force and violence and with the unlawful intent to do her corporal hurt and bodily injury. Boy, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. Now, again, this could be like a decade ago, all right? People change, right? This is from like 2006, something like that. So, of course, people do change, right? People change all the time. Every day is a new day. Every year is a new year. People can change. But the behavior he's exhibiting now, he's attacking royalty. He's attacking her mother, her brother, her kids, her kids, her kids, every day and this man has the balls to get on here and says he gets more views than i do like i didn't know we're in competition for views sir and the only reason you get views is when you talk about royalties let's do slow or something like that is he is he challenged or something like that i don't understand when he says he gets more views and all that you only get more views because you attack a woman a black woman a single black woman with five kids but like i said i mean yeah this is from the past but what he's doing presently, it's shocking, man. This is shocking. Like the way he's digging up her bankruptcy records. Um, and he's got all, he's like partnering up with these other goofy channels that are digging up royalties information. And they're like, oh, let me let me just uh blur out the address. No, dummy, you literally showed him how to do it. It's like you're stupid, man. Or I guess he's trying to act stupid. I don't know. Now and out of all these months that we've been going to court, me and CJ have not came to an agreement yet, so now we have to go to trial. I don't know if you guys know about trial or if you guys ever been in this predicament or if you've ever been in this situation like you've been in this situation before. So, yes, times have gotten real hard for me and my kids. But like I said, I'm the type of person to pick up the pieces and keep on going no matter what the situation is. So, like at the end of the day, yeah, my car, it was taken. It was taken. It was repoed. But you know what? I got my car back, and all it did was make me go harder and it made me, go sh and it made me stronger. So... That ain't nothing. Exactly. And I said that in the video that I dropped. They made it seem like, oh, it's repoed and it's going to be gone forever and it's going to get on her credit. And they try to exaggerate it just to make her look bad, right? To make her look like shit, um, to make her look miserable, um, broke. Like, just because she's not with CJ so cool, then she must be, like, flat broke. Just because her car got repoed, that means she can't afford the payments anymore. I told you... You can also reach out to the bank and uh, and settle the dispute, pay back um, whatever you owe, maybe the last couple payments or whatever it is, pay the towing company, the repo, the fines, whatever. Everything can get situated if you communicate with the bank. All right. In some states, it works. Other states, it doesn't work. It just depends on everybody's situation. It seems like in her situation, it worked just fine. All right. She's fallen behind. She might not have even fallen behind. All right. It's just she has so many responsibilities. She has five kids. She has to do YouTube. YouTube is not easy when you got five kids, man. Most of you guys can't even like handle one or two kids, 
let alone five kids. PJ's got a woman that's probably taking care of more responsibilities than his goofy ass, right? But he sits on here and downs royalty all the time, every single day. So because I'm talking about royalty and defending royalty, he calls me racist. He calls me a hater. But that still doesn't change the fact that you are a woman beater. It doesn't change the fact. All right. Shayla Suzanne. Ask PJ about Shayla Suzanne. Ask him about this. Ask him, why did he drag Shayla Suzanne around the apartment by her ankles during the assault and slammed her head against various walls inside the apartment with force? All right. We got mug shots of PJ. So it's not like we got the wrong guy or something like that. No, we got him in that orange jumpsuit that I'm worried about because at the end of the day, I knew I was going to get my car back. I wasn't really stressed and I wasn't pressed about any of that. So for y'all to even just be so obsessed with what I got going on is just so, it's so disgusting. Like you should be disgusted with yourself. First of all, you're picking with a woman. Very disgusting and sick minded. PJ is sick minded. He's going after a single black woman with five kids, five fucking kids, not five pets, not five cars, five kids, five humans, five little humans, five, uno, dos, tres, cuarto, cinco, 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 cinco. Is that registering in your fucking head? A woman at that with five kids. When and where did I say that I was better, richer, or whatever the case may be from anybody? I basically left a, uh, I basically I left a situation that I didn't want to be anymore, and I'm by myself now. So why is it so hard for you to intake on what I want to do with my life? Y'all come up with the... It's not hard. They just want to see royalty go down. They don't want to see a woman elevate. There's a lot of men like that. They cannot handle a strong woman. All right. They just can't. They just can't see that happen. And I think I'm assuming these are two of these clowns, PJ and Jason. They just can't stomach the fact that royalty can leave CJ. So cool. This multimillionaire that had this nice, lavish lifestyle for royalty. And then she leaves. They just can't imagine that royalty can move on and start a new life. They just can't. She has to be broke. She has to be miserable. That's how they see things. They just can't see her past that, right? And all this goofy shit, oh, well, she lied. She clickbait. Bro, this is YouTube. Every, like, a lot of people clickbait. That's how, when, when views are down on some days, you got to come out with a clickbait. You got to come out with something, right? He acts like he never does it. He clickbaits the crap out of his videos. So oh, disgusting. Like, you should be disgusted with yourself. First of all, you're picking with a woman, a woman at that with five kids. When and where did I say that I was better, richer, or whatever the case may be from anybody? I basically left, a, uh, I basically, I left a situation that I didn't want to be anymore, and I'm by myself now. So why is it so hard for you to intake on what I want to do with my life? Y'all come up with the most bizarre things. It doesn't make any sense at all. And like, y'all are so proud to think that y'all got some tea on me and it really ain't even no tea what person in this world has not got their car taken because they fell on hard times i'm pretty sure i'm not the only woman in the world not only that i'm not even really up to a high standard how everybody thinks that i am like y'all the ones that think that i'm on this high status and all this because i was, was rich and famous with somebody else let me tell you the truth when i was with him we was we had hard times too but nobody wasn't we wasn't out there telling our business and telling y'all the things that we were going through behind on bills behind on this and behind on that like we wasn't coming to the internet telling y'all those things i feel like some people don't re they don't realize that royalty is human they they must think like royalty is like a robot or something like that so when they watch her it's like some type of entertainment um it's almost like when you go to the movies right and you watch a movie and you fall into the characters that the role they're playing or whatever. But the difference is between the movie and YouTubers like royalty, this is her real life. It's not like an acting role where she plays a certain role in the movie. And then once the two hours are up, the movie's over and they go back to their real life. It's just a movie set. It's just a production, right? This is royalty's life. And these guys... They keep attacking her, thinking like this is just all entertainment. It's not fucking entertainment. This is a real person. A real person with five kids. A single black woman with five kids. Cinco. 
because yeah sometimes people can be embarrassed from those things but you know what life goes on the prices is going up like everything is high and not only that like i said i'm a single mom with five kids even though i chose to be in this position and i know how to uphold my position i'm going to continue to do it you know so i do appreciate what rico did for me and the children like he surprised us with the car like that's that's amazing like I was, I was in shock. Like I said, he was throwing me hints here and there, but I really wasn't expecting it, you know? So it's like, I, by then, we were talking about it when I didn't have my car. But then he just kept throwing like, you know, little, little hints and stuff like that. So it's just like, by then I had my car and he already gave me another car. So it's just like, I'm blessed with what I got going on. But yeah, you see my baby, she clean. She real clean. Are you interested? She real clean. And then I see some of y'all real upset because y'all want to say, oh, she lied. She lied about her car. She lied. Don't all YouTubers clickbait y'all? Don't all YouTubers clickbait y'all? I mean, I'm not the only YouTuber that sit up here and clickbait and I got everybody pressed on what I said. Y'all can't be that pressed behind me. Y'all can't be that pressed about me. It's just like y'all are so obsessed with royalty. As much as y'all hate royalty, as much as y'all discredit royalty, as much as y'all dislike me, y'all sure do know a lot about me. It's like, y'all know every little thing. And that's just crazy that these police ass niggas. You know what's so crazy to me is, um, is that I can't believe these men, I can't believe the women they're with. Like, I cannot believe that women like th this this is a this is a situation where we got a black man attacking a black woman right it's not like a black man it's not a man to man situation right like cuz i i see a bunch of goofies you know pj's haters um or pj supporters coming to hate on my channel they're talking about oh well you talk about this person you talk about that person you you talk about all these guys the difference is i talk about guys I don't sit here and talk about women channels. Um, PJ is talking about another woman. And it's not just any type of woman. This is a single black woman with five kids, right? Five kids. Not a single woman with just a channel, right? And no kids, right? Not even a dog. Just five kids. So it's like a different scenario. So all these goofy, oh, well, you talk about this guy. You talk about, I'm talking about guys, men. I'm not talking about women. I don't talk about women channels, women-based content creators. This guy, PJ, talks about women. Look at his channel. He talks about royalty. And if royalty didn't have five kids, it would be a different situation. All right, But the fact she's got five kids, that's like a major responsibility. You got five kids. You got to take care of those five kids along with managing your social media status. You got to maintain a certain status on YouTube, on social media, so people perceive you a certain way. It's a lot of stress, a lot of stress for somebody like royalty. This is why I talk and defend royalty. I might not agree with all the tactics she does, but then again, every YouTuber does this shit. But PJ acts stupid. He wants to present royalty in the most demeaning way possible. He likes to degrade her. He likes to show her. He wants her to be miserable. All YouTubers clickbait, y'all. I mean, I'm not the only YouTuber that sit up here and clickbait, and I got everybody pressed on what I said. Y'all can't be that pressed behind me. Y'all can't be that pressed about me. It's just like y'all are so obsessed with royalty. As much as y'all hate royalty, as much as y'all discredit royalty, as much as y'all dislike me, y'all sure do know a lot about me. It's like y'all know every little thing. And that's just crazy that these police ass niggas be doing this police ass shit for what i know i'm paying your bills at least can i get a thank you at least can i get 50 percent? i mean i'm helping y'all out y'all ain't got nobody else to talk about ain't nobody else liddy exactly like i showed you guys earlier he always likes to say like he always posts that goofy ass shit like he's a stupid bum right he'd be getting on there in his community oh he's racist he's a hater he he gets less views i get more views boy like dude you're like fucking 40 you're not like 18 19 you're not 17 you're not 21 22 you don't get views are you that slow you don't get views idiot you stupid bum, you don't get views unless you talk about fucking royalty, you stupid retard. Ain't nobody else popping. Am I the only one that got 
stuff going on in their life that y'all so interested about? I think what your problem is, is y'all trying to prove me wrong. And I think your problem is that y'all really want me so bad down and out. But guess what, guys? It's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. Yeah, everybody in life, including myself, has stumbling stones. Some people have, you know, things that really go on in their life. Like, it's a lot of stuff that I, that's going on in my life that I really don't always tell the Internet because of how. No, I think they want to control royalty the same way like he tried to control Shayla Suzanne. Just my opinion, right? Just my opinion. You guys can, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But when I read what I read, and you guys can read it too, um, it sounds like it's more like a control thing. And because they can't quite control royalty, um, even though their content is designed in a way to try to manipulate and try to degrade her and demean her, and make her feel miserable. It's it's a form of control. They still are not successful with it. All right. They might be successful in getting some traction, some motion, getting some views. But at the end of the day, if you just sit there and just think about this, just think about this in the most simplest way possible. We got a man attacking a woman with five kids. Race really has nothing to do with it. Um, but you know, because he likes to pull the race card, everything he, t he talks about, he always pulls the race card. He always pulls the hate card, um, because that's who he is. Maybe he's got that type of hatred inside of him. I don't know. Um, I mean, I just can't, I can't see myself, um, abusing a woman the way I read about him abusing Shayla Suzanne, but some people got it in them. But like I said, at the end of the day, the takeaway here is, this is a man attacking a woman with five kids, five kids, a man attacking a woman with five kids that's doing the best she can to try to take care of her kids and maintain this profile on social media. So, like I said, you can cut it up, chop it up, however you want to chop it up. Um, but that's what I see at the end of the day. That's all I see. Like all that other stuff, the clickbait, you know, I bought this bankruptcy repo, all that stuff is like. It's not, it's not, it's not here or there, right? It's not, it's not fun. It could be entertaining. You can have a nice laugh out of it, but at the end of it all, it's a man against a woman with five kids, right? So we're going to wrap up here, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. We'll do a part two. I don't want to make this video too long.